Okay, this is another Bootstrap Studio question from Jansha Khan about using uh, like functions over pictures. This is going to be a very rough guide because um, I just don't have the time to tidy it up or anything. So I've put in uh, a few pictures. This is me and my wife's wedding. Um, and a few favourite uh, buttons as well. Okay, so this is going to be in JavaScript. Um, so just so there's your little heart thing, okay. And I'm just gonna go and convert to HTML and custom code, edit code, and I'm gonna put in two things here. And I know somebody's gonna say, Oh, Nigel, there's a quicker way to do it than this. I'm um, sure he is, but this is the way I'm doing it now. ID equals, I'll put like for this. Unclick Java, to call a uh, JavaScript function equals heart. And brackets to call that function. Okay, so you apply that and you get styles and you're going to go for the like there. It's already in there. So position absolute and position absolute could be relative as well. Uh, left, and I'm going to put that at uh, approximately 200 pixels and top, probably about the same 200 pixels. Okay, so there you can see now that there's the heart. Um, it's just the phone. Right, uh, that was phone. Um, right, where am I at? Okay, uh, I'll just preview this. All right. Um, see what this looks like. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, right, that's fine. Okay, so um, right, go to JavaScript now and create JS. I'm just going to create fav.js. Okay, and what I'm going to do there is going to put function, function, and when did I say it was hard. Okay, heart and curly brackets, brackets and then curly parathesis and then curly brackets. Okay, I'm just going to put an alert in there just to show that it's working and that. This is the way I do it. Some people put in console.log and all the rest of it. Hello. Right. Oops. And semicolon there at the end. Right. Apply that and see what that looks like. There it is, right, okay, so JavaScript's working. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in uh, something with uh, put in very i, right? You don't have to put the very word in, zero, okay, semicolon. And then the next line I'm going to put in is um, like image. It's the very image. Again, you don't have to put that in, but it's correct if you do new array and arrays are variables um which are in you know array it does save time you have to have speech marks for this that's a syntax okay so you're gonna i'm gonna put in like dot png and apostrophe again speech marks i'm gonna put in one dot png and once again speech marks and two dot png and lastly three well, this can go on as much as what you want to three dot png okay all right semicolon so in here um what you're going to need is something uh, i plus plus because that's going to increment like one at a time 
this here, I mean, this here is you can actually i plus plus that means one it goes up and one you can actually go down as well so it'll be minus minus okay and just come out of that okay so right so we're going to put an if statement in here so what we're going to put in here is um i equals equals i m dot length okay right i'll put two i's in there which is not right okay so that's the variable i okay so if what that's saying is if equals i m length so the i is nothing it goes up in increments and if the i how can i explain this if it goes up in increments from zero to wherever okay and then you've got to put on so what you do is put in i equals zero okay so what it's doing is it's sort of looping around but you don't lose you don't use for loops and you don't use while loops or do while loops you have to really use it this way um because it works much better just trust us on that it does anyway right so what i want to put in now is we're going to get on the element and the element there was like so the id equals like so what we do there is we go document dot get l and this has to be capital it's the best way to write it anyway element by by id which is like so put in speech marks wrong one speech marks like then we're looking for the source okay so put in dot src equals so on there like we've we've uh, come to where we're getting the source from well we're getting the source from the the image which is this here the new array okay so it's i m and then we put in this which is these brackets the square brackets and that is i okay so <laughs> this is probably so complicated uh if you don't know anything about javascript um i can go right the way through it for you again and you apply that all right so now i'm going to like do this okay so see if this works so go one if you say this and i'll go in two three okay so that's it that's how you do it you just implement this here if if you were doing it for you know like a more classy and stuff like that is i've just done this i've just really like sort of just getting any images from the net really and uh done a few things in, in a image editor um but what you're doing if you put in this here and you change this eye here to say 10 you would and we apply that you would get this so it go one two three then nothing you see so it has to be that goes in this sort of loop so that has to be nothing because that is it's just going to wherever that length is it's just going where it says if i equals equals i am dot length the length of this here okay that's really what it's saying and that is uh how it works this thing so there's your picture and there's how you like get your favorites and yeah if somebody clicks and you know it, what they're doing is just incrementing by one you know and that doing that type of thing i hope you've actually anybody learned anything that's what doing this because it is quite a complicated old thing if, if you're very new to programming languages um php you can do it in as well but with bootstrap studio just being a um a tool for front-end development okay so again thanks for watching any questions on that and i'll go right the way through it again okay so uh again thanks for watching